Hey guys, this is Yashichi. I'm going to walk you guys through how to set up a Wii for slippy recording. This will not cover streaming, just recording. So what you'll need is a Wii remote, SD card, USB stick, and a Wii. Right now I'm syncing the Wii remote to the Wii itself. Ooh, this is a good one. Oh my god, this was a good one. Look at all these games. Anyway. We'll have to go to the Wii options. Check out the settings. Take a look at the top right first. When we actually get into it. Version 4.3U, that's good. That's the version we need. If we do not have that version, we have to go to the internet. Over here. And perform a system update. Assuming it's not already... Uh homebrewed. Okay, so I'm going to set the nickname here. This has a 10 character limit. So, and this is my 11th. Is that right? 11th, yeah. Yeah, no more, no more characters. I don't think setting that one is too important. That's not what's going to be written onto the files. There'll be another naming thing you could do later. Cinco de Mayo, that's correct. Time, a little off. Twenty-four. Sorry, twenty-eight. What's wrong with me? It's important that that those be correct. I guess the minutes aren't particularly important, but everything else is. We gotta make sure it's set to standard. It'll all work if it isn't, but it's gonna look goofy. Let me go to the internet. And it's here you might encounter uh, parental controls. And getting around that is covered in my Slippy setup document. Right here in section 4, get MAC address and bypass parental controls. But what we're going to do is head to this site. And before we go any further, let's insert our SD card to the computer. And just make sure it's all set up proper. Go to format. It is set to 32 and 64 kilobytes. That's good. FAT32 is what we need. I'll just wipe it real quick, just to be Kate, just to be safe. Now we enter the MAC address. Zero zero one seven A B four six nine zero A three. And of course yours will be different. Make sure this is checked. You kidding me? All right, and click cut the blue wire. And all of this, we extract to the root of the SD card. Just drop it right in there. And then while we have the SD card still in there, we will download this. It's all the rest of the files that you need for slippy setup, and I bundled them all together. Very convenient package. There's nothing else in there that you don't need, aside for maybe a file or two. And this step's going to take a little bit, because it's a big file. So while you're waiting, you should head on over to patreon.com slash join slash fizzy36 and become a patron. Slippy development can't really progress at a very good pace unless we get more patrons on this. And let me first say I'm not associated with Slippy development whatsoever. I just love the project. I think it's the next big thing in Melee. So this is downloaded. Let's extract them all again to the root of the SD card. Okay, 
And this is gonna take maybe a minute or two as well. Okay, because there's one big folder. Sorry, one big file there. But yeah, if you end up joining the Discord for Slippy Development, anytime you ask a question, someone is pretty much there to, to answer, and it's not always the developers, but all of the problems that people tend to have are just very small, simple things, like, oh, how did I overlook that? And everyone in there is, is very welcoming, ready to help out if you got any questions. I personally am a tier 2 sub, can't quite afford this, but I would love to if I could. Up next for Slippy Development is timeline scrubbing, making it so you can pretty much view the replays as a video file. Right now it's not doable, and it's a big task, very big task, apparently. Again, I'm not actually associated with them. So this is almost done. These last few moments always seem to take forever. Safety reasons. Safely eject that. Good. Let me insert it back into the Wii. And at the bottom right, we go to the message board. Go back and forth a little bit until you see this guy. You have to wait through this screen. And all of all of the slippy stuff is free. The only thing you have to get on your own is an SD card and a USB stick. And you probably have both of those lying around, especially if you already have a Wii. And a 2 gigabyte SD card that a lot of Wii's came with. I th I'm pretty sure that is all that you need for this. But I personally went with 32 gigabyte versions of both SD and USB stick. Okay, this is good. It says Humber Channel can be installed. So let's install it. Sorry, I was just making sure that this is still set up properly. Sometimes when you when I switch between things, it, it loses signal. And here we go to the slippy configuration. This is the important information for your Wii. So Yoshichi 8, I'm not exactly sure why that's labeled the way that is. That's not right at all. Oh, no, I do. I know why it's labeled that. Because it copies the, the information from my little package that I have uploaded. 11. It's 2019, May 5th hour. It is 6.36. Second National Melee Arcadian is going on right now. And then from here, technically, you could just go directly to Nintendo and Slippy. And the way my files were all packaged together, you should be able to just press A twice uh, and, and have a USB stick in inserted, of course, which we'll do now. You could just go to Nintendo and Slippy, and it'll all be set up already, but we're going to go to Preloader to make it so that Every time we turn the Wii on, it just it'll just boot straight to Nintendo. And I'll walk you through how to do this. 
press plus. Assuming you're still using the Wii Remote. And then from here, we're going to turn the console off. Turn it back on. Yeah, I don't know if you could hear that. I I bought this uh, Wii off eBay. I guess the disk drive is a little messed up. Let me just make sure that the okay the video is still working. And holding uh, holding the reset button while the Wii is powering on will boot you to this preloader menu. So we'll go to low slash install file and just select the first one, forwarder for Nintendo Slippy. And doing this allows us to boot the Wii directly to Nintendo. So long as we go to the settings and change auto boot to installed file. And you have to press right on the D-pad to do that. Make sure you save the settings. can't exactly see what I'm doing here. Hmm, okay. Well, I think my Wii kind of pooped itself. But this is a good way to test it. Let's turn it on. See if it goes straight to Nintendo, and it does. Cool. I meant to do that, actually. And just to make sure everything is set correctly, you'll tap A on SD, and press B to, to change the settings. And you can switch Auto Boot here to On with the A button if you want to turn on your Wii and have it just directly start up Nintendo Slippy Melee. Just directly go to Melee. But I like to keep it off because I'm a little worried about whether or not all these files or all of these settings are selected correctly. So we'll make sure Slippy File Right is turned to yes. That is the actual replay sending system. If it's if it's set to no, the replays won't be saved. And I always like controller fix set to UCF. There's also toggle, which lets you switch between uh, none, UCF, or the Dween, the Arduino, if you like that for some reason. And I also have tournament mods on. So if you want any of these turned off, make sure that using my packages, you go and change them yourself. Are you fucking kidding me, man? What the hell? Sometimes you have to deal with some bullshit. That's just the way it is. To fix that issue, I just switched my uh, USB stick to a different port. You can put it in either two ports, it works. So I guess that's a little bit of troubleshooting uh, for you if you encounter that issue as well. Right now I'm going to play a game to be sent to the USB stick. technique right there to make sure uh, that everyone knows you're cool as hell. Uh, okay, cool, got it. I'm a lot better than that uh, in real life, I swear. And then from here, you can just 
take the USB stick right out if you really want to. The game will continue to run, but if you end up putting a stick back into it, it will not continue to write files. It will not work. But you'll see here's the game that I had. I just played it and it might take a minute. all my failed tea drop attempts. It's all there. Every mistake you make will be there. And even if you end the match early by doing LRA start, it'll it'll still record the whole match no matter what. And what's cool is that during all this, uh, it's automatically recording a bunch of stats and all this. All this good stuff. You'll see I did a 73% combo because I'm really good. Uh, my APM was embarrassingly low, but Lynx was even worse. It's like he wasn't even playing the game, I think. And then with that, all of your stuff should be set up perfectly fine to record stuff. Again, this isn't covering any of the streaming slippy stuff. I actually don't know how to do that yet. I'm gonna have to figure that out eventually. But yeah, the files, it makes a slippy folder and it just puts them directly in there. And then the file names themselves are, are timestamps. You'll see 0505, May 5th, and then 18, that'll be 6 o'clock, uh, 641, 35, that is when the game started or ended. I think it's when the game started. But anyway, I hope that helps everyone with setting up Slippy on their Wii. Sorry about that weird issue where I might not even end up using this week because that was a very unusual mistake I had not yet encountered. But again, check out patreon.com slash join slash fizzy36 to help support this project. It is legitimately the next big thing. I think it's actually already the big thing. And just hoarding a bunch of Wii's and setting up Slippy on all of them is the number one way, I think, to just increase exposure for Slippy, help more and more people become patrons. Uh, and again, hope this all helped. Uh, thank you guys for watching.